Good morning, first grade. So today is the last day we will be talking in depth about the sound R, as in car. Here's a car right now. And or, as in corn. So let's show those again. Corn. Whoops. Corn is an or. And car is an R. And those are the two sounds that we will be focusing on on the spelling test today. And we'll save the spelling test to the end so that uh, you can check yourself. And I bet a lot of you will get an A+. Plus. You know these words. You're ready. All right, let's begin with our decoding today. I hope everyone's having a super fabulous day. It's Friday. It's my favorite day. Here we go. Art. Card. Sport. Sport. Farm. Farm. Fork. Fork. Barn. Barn. Cord. Cord. Start. Start. Short. Short. The art. Dark storm, storm. Which word tells what Lily was afraid of? Can you point to it and say it? I hear you. That's right, she was afraid of the dark. All right, we'll come back to our spelling test at the end. Let's see what this sentence says, our sentences. It was cold and dark in the tent. Looking at the stars made Lily feel better. Her friends knew what to say to help her. Remember, if you have a friend that's afraid, it would be nice to say, are you okay? It's okay to be scared. Sometimes I get scared too. All right, this is a game. So for the game, what they want you to do is they want you to cut out these characters down here and you can decide if you wanna be the boy or you wanna be the monster. And if there's someone else available to play with you, like your brother or sister, or your mom or dad that can be the other character, then you can put them on the start and you can see who can get to the gold first. So what you're going to do is we're going to write the sight words on both sides. So let me get my pencil. And let me get ready to draw. All right, I probably should do my typing because it's really hard to write on here. So you're going to write the word and you're going to say it. You're going to say both. And then you're going to write it over here again, both. We'll go down here. No, like you know in your mind. And then we'll write no again over here. Does, does. And you're getting your game board ready because if you turn over the card on the other side is um, a pot of the silver. So that's the back of the card. All right, what is our next word? Ugh, again. And we're going to write it again. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Again. Laugh. I bet these words will be part of our spelling list next week. You know how that works. They introduce the memory words and then the second week they're on the test. Cold and cold. So once your board is ready, let me get my mouse, you can cut these out. And what they want you to do is turn them over to the pot of silver side and you draw one. So for instance, let's say I drew the word again. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go down the path and I'm gonna look for the word again. So then I would put my character there. And since I can't cut out the characters, I'll just draw. So I would be right here. 
And then let's say my brother, my brother Brian, he drew out the word both. So he's a different character. And we'll change his color, we'll give him red. So he's gonna go, oh, he landed right here on both. So then his character is gonna be, oh, it didn't change the color, did it? His character is going to be right here. So you just keep drawing cards as you go along. And if you run out of cards, then you can shuffle them and then reuse them again. So the idea is for you to be practicing all of these words as you go along. So you can be saying them over and over again and really get some fun practice in. So whoever gets down here is the winner of the game. Whoever gets down there first. All right, so let's clear this out. Clear that out. And we're moving on to our story. And remember, we have library books. So there are three library books, and we read one of them yesterday. We read Extreme Sports yesterday. That was really some crazy sports going on there, some really scary things that those people are doing. And the paper for today will be about this book. But I thought it would be fun if we go ahead and look at another one of the library books. It's fun that there's three different library books because it gives you a lot of choices. Because if you don't want to read Extreme Sports again today, you can read one of the other stories. Let's go down here and see about It's a Robot. And let's read this together. It's a robot. It's a robot. Can you hear it? I'll turn it up a little bit. It's a robot. Oh, if you watch Star Wars, you know who this is. Is this C-3PO or R2-D2? Which one is it? You know, don't you? Well, no, it's not. It's a man dressed as a robot. Many films about the future have had robots in them. The robots tended to look a bit like people. They tended to act a bit like people, too. Yes, when I was a little kid, you thought of a robot as just something exciting you might see in a movie. But nowadays, people have robots that clean their floors and their house and all kinds of things like that. Let's find out more. It was fun to think that such robots could be real. But they were not real. Now, we have real robots. Real robots do not have to look like people. Robots can look like all sorts of things. This robot can cut the grass while you rest. Wow. These robots can fetch a ball. Wow, so there's a, lawn, a lawnmower robot. Interesting. What do you think this robot does? What makes a robot different from other machines? People tell other machines what to do and how to move. A robot is a machine that can move and do things by itself. The robot's brain is a computer. The computer tells the robot what to do. This big robot arm cleans planes all by itself. Oh, so it cleans the plane. All right, let's read this together out loud. Robots work hard. 
They can help make cars. One robot can do the job of many people. And robots don't get tired like people do. Robots. Robots can do the same job again and again and not get tired. Robots can go where people can't. This robot can work by itself in the bitter cold. People can't go down in the middle of a very hot volcano. This robot can. So where could a robot go that people can't go? Yes, they can go in the bitter cold. Bitter. Cold. And they could go down in a volcano. Volcano. In the darkness under the sea, robots map the sea bottom and look for lost ships. People have not been to the planet Mars, but robots have. They study the rocks and dust. Oh, I'm so fascinated by the planet Mars. It's, it's really interesting. Let's read this together. Would you like a robot that can work for you in your home? This robot will clean your carpet. That would be exciting. This robot will bring you lunch. And this one will put away your sheets and blankets. These robots are not perfect yet, but people keep working to make them better and better. Bring me lunch. Oh, that would be great. People keep making robots that look like people too. She's a robot, she is? Robots can ride camels. Robots can play soccer. What do you think about that? This robot can spin and move with the music. This robot moves like a real kid. How much like people can robots get? Wow, the eyes look real on that robot. This robot is Kismet. Kismet is a bit like a baby. If you smile at a baby, it smiles. If you smile at Kismet, Kismet smiles. I wonder if you raise your eyebrows, if Kismet raises its eyebrows. When you say hi, Kismet looks happy. When no one plays with Kismet, it looks sad. Kismet can look interested. Shh! Kismet is sleeping. The robot sleeps? Oh, wow, look how tiny this robot is. What do you think it does? What will the robots of the future do? This tiny robot fly would spy on people. Yikes! This robot would catch a robber with a net. Interesting. 
Let's read this together. This robot would save a person in the sea. That person looks like they're drowning. They need help. The robot's going to save them. There will always be robots that are just plain fun. What if you made a robot? What would your robot look like? What would it do? When I taught second grade, we made robots, and a lot of the kids would put a remote control car underneath of it. It was basically just a box, and it had aluminum foil on it, and they put a remote control car under it and make it move. It's pretty neat. The end. Some of you say the end. So that's a story about robots. Oh, I just love these stories. Super Kids has the most fantastic stories. And then the last book that we're not going to get to today is called The Turtle Who Wanted to Fly. The Turtle Who Wanted to Fly. So, of course, I'm going to be reading this later because I have to find out what's going to happen. I want to know why the turtle wanted to fly and if he gets to fly. So I will definitely be getting on Super Kids Online Fun later today and reading this. So I want to find out more about it. All right, so now it's time to go back. Let's go all the way back to our spelling test. The top. And you can find your spelling sheet that's in your packet today. And we can sing it. Name on your paper, first thing. Name on your paper, first thing. All right, are you ready? Ready to go? Remember the sounds, R and OR. All right, let's begin. Oops. Mrs. Robinson, I already messed up, didn't I? I gave away the first answer. Far. Lily doesn't like to be far from home. Far. Sorry, please forgive me. Far. Hard. It was hard to see where we were going in the dark. Hard. 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 Star. Looking at the big star in the sky helped Lily feel better. Star. Card. Cass sent Tick a thank you card after the party. Card. That was nice. Card. Card. Car. Hot Rod can't wait until he can drive a car. Car. Corn. Fritz had corn on the cob for dinner. Corn. corn. Born. Elf was born in November. Born. 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 Sport. Basketball is a fun sport. 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 Short. It can be hard to play basketball if you are short. 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 Horn. The bus driver beeped the horn. Horn. Or horn. 
Oh, somebody's raising their hand. We need number seven right here. Born. Elf was born in November. Born. So is Christina. Sport. Basketball is a fun sport. Sport. Right. If you miss one of the words, or if I went too fast, then rewind and go back. And here it is again. And now it's time to check ourselves and see how you did. And if you missed it, please be honest with yourself and mark it wrong and just practice it on the back. Just turn it over and mark it on the back. Far, F-A-R. Hard, H-A-R-D. Star, S-T-A-R. Card, C-A-R-D. And car, C-A-R. So those five words had R. And these have the or sound. Corn, C-O-R-N. Corn, B-O-R-N. Sport, S-P-O-R-T. Short, S-H-O-R-T. And horn, H-O-R-N. All right, how'd you do? I bet you did pretty well. All right, is there anything else I need to tell you? I guess I do need to tell you there is a super smart, and I know you can't access that through the Super Kids Online Fun, so I'm going to make a separate video in case you'd like, love to watch the super smart, because the super smarts are always so much fun, and we have so much fun um, coming up to the board and clicking on all the, the cool things. I think it has to do with being scared. It's something about fear. All right, so let me see. I'm going to stop sharing this. And I need to show you the paper for today. The practice page for today is practice page 54. And it's about the story we read yesterday, Extreme Sports. And what you're going to do is you're going to look at these words up at the box. And you're going to decide which person is doing these things. The first one said blank can jump a long way before they land. So who can jump a long way? Is it a skateboarder, a extreme biker, a snowboarder, an extreme climber, or a kiteboarder? And you're gonna look at this picture right here and it looks like it's an extreme biker. So you're gonna write the word extreme biker up here above it. And then you're gonna cross that out and then you've got four more choices. So use your picture over here to the side. And if you're really not sure, you can go back to the story of extreme sports, which is on Super Kids Online Fun under books and you can take a look at it again, just as a reminder. And you also have a math test today, because it's Friday, and every Friday we have a math test. And we have art today too. So let's end with a very quiet Go Noodle, a very quiet one. And if you want a more upbeat one, you can always get on Go, Go Noodle. It is free right now for all parents. So I'm gonna share my screen, and we're gonna do or more quiet go noodle today since it's Good Friday. Think about it. Sit or stand up straight. Take a deep breath and follow along. Kindness grows kindness. It spreads comfort and caring without any expectations for anything in return. Just being kind can be enough. Take a moment to put the intention into your mind and into your heart to share kindness today. Help another feel cared for, feel comforted, a classmate, a teacher, a member of your family, or even a pet. Lead with your heart. Lead with kindness. Be kind. Today and every day. And Jesus likes it when you're kind, too. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day and a great weekend. And maybe some of you will send me a picture of your art. I'm looking forward to it. See you later. Bye-bye.